painting constantly evolving. As with every new canvas I paint on, I'm learning something. I have always used palette knives to get different effects on the canvas. Recently, I'm learning how to use my fingers more creatively on the canvas and it's been very intriguing. I know what it's like to personally experience mental health issues and fully recover. I have read up quite a bit on mental ill health and realized how much worse it could have been for me had I not been diagnosed early. I also was fortunate to have support from my family. I know that the stigma associated with mental ill health prevents most people from seeking help. Globally, the field of mental health is evolving. Many years from now, we may look back and be able to see how far we have progressed. But to do so, we need to put in the work now. This is why my paintings have a twist to it. The proceeds from sale of the paintings will go to improve lives of those with mental ill health in Sri Lanka. Coming out of the closet is a big step. I first wrote my story in 2016, which was published in the University of London's Alumni magazine. I remember quite a few who read it commenting that it must have been difficult to write the story. Truthfully, it wasn't. I would say to anyone who is on two minds about coming out, first, be okay with your story for yourself. Once you are, you will be able to embrace your personal experience and find ways to reach out and inspire others as well. Painting is an outlet for me. It has helped me immerse myself in creativity and also express what's going on in my mind. It is said that persons who have had and have mental health issues are very creative, meaning there could be a connection between mental illness and creativity. However, I believe that experience with mental ill health is very individualistic, and for me, it definitely increased my potential and creativity. I intend to raise a substantial amount so that I can contribute towards attaining a sustainable objective in terms of improving the lives of those with mental ill health in Sri Lanka. So, I will be painting for some time.